Hey everyone, so we're going to have our meeting tonight about um, how to respond to common concerns and objections. And we're going to start with our party pad. And I did it last week, and um, normally we each take turns, people who are participating, but no one else is participating right now, which stinks, so I get to do it again. <laughs> but in the last like six weeks, last week was the first time I had to do it, so I'm not too, I'm happy. Okay, so this is our party pad. This is what you go through with anyone that you meet individually. I didn't go through this with people when I first joined the company, like people who wanted to wrap. I was like, here you go, I'll be $25. Thank you, good luck. Like, <laughs> I didn't go through this. And um, I sold 17 wraps my first month, and I signed, I think, seven loyal customers, maybe less than that, maybe like five loyal customers. And I was wondering why all these people were buying wraps for me and not becoming customers. And Deanna said, are you going through the party pad? And I was like, no, I think that thing is stupid. <laughs> and she was like, okay, well, I told you to go through it. Are you going to go through it or not? And I was like, yes, I will, because you make the big money. So I'm going to assume you know what you're talking about. So I started going through this, and my percentage of people who bought the wrap and became a customer totally increased. Um, so I do like a longer version of it when I'm at a wrap party. It'll take me about 40 minutes to go through this. Versus when I'm at, if I'm just doing a one-on-one -on -one with someone who wants to buy a wrap and I'm at like Starbucks with them, then I'm going to go through it in like five to 10 minutes. So for meeting purposes, I keep it five to 10 minutes because no one wants to hear me talk for that long. Every single meeting would take forever. Okay, so uh, we ask everyone if we're at a, a party, like if people are wearing it, like have you tried it before? Because you can feel it working. It like tingles a little bit. Some people feel hot, some people feel cold. It just kind of reacts differently, but you can feel it. So people like to talk about it. Then we tell everyone it's really easy, affordable, and fun. You take it out. It comes in a box. Usually I have my box. I don't have it over here with me. Um, it comes in a box of four wraps. You take the wrap out. It already has the magic cream. What does all the work is in the cream, not in the actual wrap itself. The wrap itself is an unwoven, unwoven cloth that is just used to hold the gel on whatever your target area is. So it stays on and it's absorbed by the skin. You can put it anywhere from the chin down. We do have a special wrap for your face because the skin on your face is a little different from the skin on the rest of your body. And it is the same size wrap that is applied everywhere. So it's really, really thin and easy to cut. So you can put it wherever you want to. And if you have a special area you want to cut, let me know and I'll kind of send you a picture of how to cut the wrap and how to apply it. Um, and what I do for that, just so you guys know, is I have a dry wrap and I, I told Christy to do this too, where after you use your first wrap, wash it with like soap and water and save it. So you have a dry one because it's really good for showing people. And it's also really good when you're like, how do you wrap that area? Well, don't take a gooey one that has stuff on it that you're going to be putting on people. Take a dry run, dry one, and put it to size up wherever. And that's what I would use to show a picture of someone. I would fold it however I would want to cut it, and I'd stick it wherever and show them like that. You can see results in as little as 45 minutes. You can actually wear the wrap for up to eight hours. You can wear it overnight, which I do a lot of times because I think it's just easy. Um, the biggest thing about wearing it overnight is that you have to drink a lot of water. Like the biggest impact in your results is drinking water. So if you're going to wear it overnight, you need to be like chugging water before you go to bed, which is probably not what people do. You need to have extra water right by your bed so when you get up in the middle of the night to pee because you're going to because you chug water before bed. <laughs> that you drink more water when you get up and then you do the same thing first thing in the morning. It's just what I do, but I think it's kind of fun to like wake up and see a dramatic difference rather than, I don't know, that's how I do it. I've also like worn it to do errands and at my office, I used to wrap people first thing in the morning at my office all the time. They would, and then we'd take it off right before they left for the day. And this is what it does. So um, it's gonna tighten, tone, and firm the skin. It, does works wonders on cellulite. It's also really great on stretch marks, especially old stretch marks. Um, it's really awesome for tightening your skin, and it gives fast and lasting results from a botanically based formula. So this is all botanically based. There's no chemicals in here at all. It's all natural, and the results last from about two to six months, with the average being about two to three months. And just like diet and exercise, whatever you do to maintain it will um, increase your results. It'll make it last longer. And this part's most important just to distributors, but this is only available through It Works Independent Distributors, which means we don't have any other competition out there. There's no wrap you can buy at Walmart, like makeup or candles or anything like that. Like, we don't have a lot of competition out there. We have this flagship product that no one else has, which is awesome for us. So the wrap itself, 
um, is $25 retail. And there's three different ways you can buy our products. You can buy retail as a customer or as a distributor. And just so you guys know, the reason why I say it like that is because I'm literally planting the seed to buy products as a distributor in their head. They think I'm only here for products. I'm never going to want to do this. I'm telling them, well, there's another way to buy products too. And it's also as a distributor. Because sometimes people are like, not doing that. And then by the end of it, they kind of, they're like, I really came here thinking I would never do that. Now I'm thinking about it. I have plastic on me. That's weird. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so a box of wraps is, or one individual wrap is $25. A box of wraps is $99. And so you get 40% off if you order as a loyal customer, which makes a whole box of wraps $59. It's a lot more affordable. So to be a loyal customer, you do that one of two different ways. We have a membership fee that you can do, and that's $50, and that's a lifetime membership fee. So once you pay $50, you're locked in for life. There's no annual fee or anything like that. Now, we can waive that fee. The second way to be a loyal customer is to basically do like a 90-day product challenge. So you're going to get one product shipped to your house each month for three months in a row, so for 90 days. Can you buy them at nope. You're a loyal customer immediately from the second you say, I want to be a loyal customer. You just sign up stating, I'm agreeing that I'm going to order three months worth of products. If you stop ordering your products at two months, you'll get charged the $50 enrollment fee for a loyal customer. Gotcha. Yeah. But if you do the three months, then nothing happens. So, um, where was it with that? Yeah, I think I explained that. Loyal customer, made sense? Mm -hmm. There's two ways to do it. $50 fee, otherwise you're locked in for life. It's similar to like a Costco or a Sam's Club membership, except for like where they have an enrollment fee and then you get the, be locked into the lower prices. Um, but ours is not an annual fee. And with our loyal customer program, we do have a couple extra perks. You get free shipping starting with your fourth order. So if you keep ordering after your three months, um, all of your orders after that are free shipping. And then if you do um, at six months, if you continue ordering, you're going to get a special product um, shopping spree of $50 worth of free product. If you keep going for 12 months, you get $150 worth of free product. And if you think people don't do that, people who are customers that order supplements, order them consistently. So people who do like, uh, six months is $50, a year is $150. And people who like order our greens, they're in a month supply, you take it every day, they order them for life. So greens customers are really great customers because they're consistent. Um, or like our multivitamin or stuff like that, things that are thermofit, the fat fighters, whatever people are taking consistently as part of their daily routine. Um, and you always get, as a little customer, starting with your very first purchase, you get 10% back in product credit. So if you order $60 worth of product, like a box of wraps, then you're going to get $6 worth of what we, we call them perk points, but really it's $6 worth of free product on a future order. Mm -hmm. You always get that. Um, we have several other products that are really awesome. We have a full skincare line. Um, uh, and if I'm at a party, I'm going to go into like the fat fighters and thermo and sample them. Um, otherwise, I might just, it depends on the person who's selling someone a wrap. I probably already know a little bit about what they're interested in because that's why we're there for that. And I've probably already discussed some of our other products. So I usually don't go into like, if I'm doing a face-to-face, -face, I'm not going to go into a lot of other products. But I will usually have like a product catalog with there and just saying, were you interested? Do you want to talk about any of these other products? Generally, if I'm meeting someone, I've already talked to them about other products, though, so I don't really have to go into that very much. Do you have another one? This one's for you. <laughs> all, they're all seen behind you, like a thing. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I like all over. I, have, I just have stuff everywhere. Okay, so the other way that I talked about buying products is as a distributor. So distributors actually pay the same thing for our products as loyal customers. We get the same pricing. Uh, we do get um, a couple other benefits, and that starts with, like, we can get a box of wraps for cheaper, and we'll go into that. So the first step to being a distributor is to join and join the party. So when you join the party, it's $99, and that comes with a full box of four wraps. So you can sell those four wraps immediately and get your money back. Um, it also comes with your marketing materials to get you started. Like everything you would really need to get going comes with it. Um, your second goal as a distributor is to get four loyal customers. When you do that, every two loyal customers you get, you're going to get a box of wraps for $25. That's 
called a wrap reward. And that's one of the ways that we get them cheaper. And that's something that's special just for distributors, loyal customers don't get to do that. Um, our third goal is to get three friends or people that you know that are also looking to make some extra money. People who might just want to use the products also, but think that they're going to, if you think your results are going to be great and you're going to be talking about it with other people, then maybe you want to be a distributor because rather than refer your friends and family to me, you'd want to just get the business yourself. Um, when one of those distributors also has two friends or family members that become distributors, that makes you Ruby. And there's a $500 bonus if you go Ruby within your first two calendar months. So I would never, if you have someone that like before midnight says, I want to be a distributor, you say, great, let me get your information and I'll enroll you because you don't want to sign them up today. If you sign up on the first, it's like literally always every single month, it's going to be the worst day to join our team. If you sign up on the first, you have two full calendar months to get there. You only have until October 31st mm -hmm. to get there. If you sign up tomorrow, September is not a full calendar month anymore. And then you have until November 31st because you get all of October and all of November because it has to be two full calendar months. So I like usually on the second I post something about like, geez, the best day to join my team because it literally is. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Um, you join like mid month though. You're not too far bad. I joined on the 28th, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I talked about all of that. The, the, the mm. qualified distributor just people for A qualified distributor is someone who has 400 in volume. So uh, we have something called bonus volume. We call it BV. Volume. It, there's a volume amount attached to every single product. It's generally closely related to the price. Um, for most of our products, it's exactly what the price is. So basically, it means that they have $400 worth of sales. That can be sales in a number of different ways. It can be sales in loyal customers, in retail sales, um, and it can be um, in distributor orders. So let's say, for my purposes, let's say Christy doesn't sign any loyal customers at all. And she's like, she signed up as a distributor, but she doesn't know what she's doing, doesn't want to really do it. She just did it. And then she just wants to order products as a distributor. Because mm -hmm. that happens too. You'll have people who are like, oh, I'm totally going to do it. And then they sign up and then they're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to really do this right now. I just want to try the products for a little bit. And I tell people like, okay, fine. That's totally fine. You can do it if you want to. You're losing out on your Ruby bonus just so you know. But that's fine. Go at your own pace if you want. Try the products out. So then their orders as a distributor also counts towards that. Gotcha. So 400 of whatever. So the 400 you said. So if I... A loyal customer buys something for the retail price, not for the, for the loyal customer price. So you get the sale on the retail price, you said? You get this, you get, you get it on how the volume. I, I don't no. know how much the volume. Um, so I don't have anything like in paper to show you, but I can show you a list online. There's okay. a list of like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a way to look at it and you can see every product, what the BV is. It be like price, BV, price, BV. Gotcha. So yeah. I'll say, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, here's what distributors make on average. Um, and this is from 2013. So this, you know, maybe higher or lower. It really depends on the person. These are an average over someone who's in this, that position for six months. And um, I always, like, looked, like, down at the bottom half of it. But I actually know a lot of people now that are in the top half of this. And that's totally kind of changed my thinking and why part of why I quit my job to do this full time is because I realized the potential was there. It's just a matter of doing it. It's not a matter of like, well, do the products really work or not? Well, no, people are making millions of dollars doing this. Obviously, their products work. Like you can't run a business with products that really don't work. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's not a matter of like, can you sell it or not? It's a matter of like, am I, am I going to do what I need to do yeah. for me to do it? So if other people can do it, I know I can do it too. So after watching a couple people, and there's this one girl in our team that she joined the month after me. Her and her husband are both retired doing this and making really good money at home. And I was like, I've been watching her. She, she was like super, super, super shy. And she used to like team training videos. And she was like the shyest, sweetest little thing ever. And I was like, oh my gosh, if this girl can sit at home and do this and like be so shy and reserved about everything and be like growing this empire, like there's no reason like, it was really inspiring to me to watch her do it, especially knowing that she's been in it basically as long as I have. Um, yeah, I really like her a lot. So that's Ashley Gibbs. Her husband actively, yeah, and her husband 
he actively works the business. Like, and he talks about it a lot. He'll talk about how um, a lot of times wives will like, they'll go like take off with the business and then they'll retire their husband because they're making so much money that their husband doesn't have to work. But then their husband ends up coming home and she's like, oh, can you watch the kids? Or can you get the kids a bath? Or could you make dinner? And he's like, what? Like it's super role reversal because he was used to being the breadwinner before and then it caused all these issues. So he came home and he works his business just like she does. The same stuff that she does, he does too. He's consistently enrolling distributors. He targets guys, she targets girls. Mm -hmm. So she only friends girls like on Instagram and Facebook. He only friends guys on Instagram and Facebook. And they just each grow their businesses. So she has a big group of girls and he has a big group of guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I don't know what they're ranked right now. I think they're maybe both double diamond or she might be, I think she's really close to triple and he's really close to double or he might be a double. They might both be double diamonds. Either way, if they're both double diamonds, they're making about a hundred grand and they're both working at home together doing this, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And even as a distributor, if you're just a distributor, you're probably not working that hard, especially if you've been in that, that rank for a six month period of time. I didn't know you were coming. I was rushing around. Hi. I got a call. I don't know what you're going to do. Were you talking to him? No, no, the call. Um, oh, because it's late. No, what call? It's. Uh, me? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I, I wasn't really interested in that, so. <laughs> yeah. There's um, a call that they have been posting about. It was about why it's important to go to conference. I've gone to conference every year. I already know why it's important. So <laughs> I've never missed it. So I was like, no, I'll do that. I already know it's important. I already go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so I tell people that even as a distributor, if you're not working that hard, like $752 a year is not something that I would say no to. <laughs> It's not obviously going to pay your bills, but a year, like that's a fun vacation. It can be a lot of different things for you. So um, it all depends on what you want, how hard you want to work, what you're looking for. The options are real and are there. And then we always close up and just say, so it's your choice. Do you you more interested in being a little customer and trying our products and um, getting the perk points or were you more interested in, being a distributor, getting to use our products and make money while you're doing that. That's kind of how I close it up. Um, one of the things I usually talk about that I didn't really go into is my story as a distributor and like how I started and how I got to where I am. Um, and like I always talk about uh, like feeling words are important, so how I felt working my job and why I didn't like it. And then I talk about like how I feel now and what it's done for me. In that story, like my personal story, has changed 57,000 times as I've gone through my business because it's always, like, when I first joined, I had no interest in quitting my job at all. And then for a long time, I didn't have an interest in quitting my job. And then in December and January of this past year, I got really sick. I had been working no less ever than 60 hours a week and generally like 70 or 80. I was working like crazy. And I got super sick and I ended up on a bunch of antibiotics and I hadn't had to do that since. 12 years, I can't take antibiotics, you know, mm -hmm. like a healthy person and stuff. And I felt so unhealthy and I realized like, it was my body's way of saying like, you need to stop. And so I, um, you know, after having watched these people, like, like Ashley Gibbs, like just like, you know, I was like, oh, look at you up there. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's great. Two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, I decided it was time to like really put some time and effort in. And I, I told Christy, like when I started this, I, I put a consistent amount of time and effort in for the first two months and I got to Ruby. And then I basically just put enough effort in to maintain Ruby because I was happy. And I was like making low Ruby money. Um, I was just a Ruby. And I, all I did was like just enough work to maintain that. So I was making like, I don't know, like two, 300. It kind of varied um, depending on my month and how well I did and stuff. But I was like happy with that money because it was just spare money I had every month. And I was like, Honestly, I was not working five hours a month. I was not. <laughs> so like yeah. two, three hundred dollars. I was like, sweet. <laughs> For how much effort I was putting in. And like like I said, I put money in the beginning to get there, but then I didn't have to to maintain it. So 
uh, when I got sick, I decided like the first week of February, I was like, that's it. I'm going to like really start hustling. And so I started putting a lot more time in, which was really hard because I was working really hard mm -hmm. and um, I just made it work. And there's like a few things you can do to, if you're trying to really work, you don't have a lot of time that makes a big difference. And so if you ever have those people who are really busy, like I know you do, like Buffer is an app that posts for you. You just schedule your posts and put them on there. And it's, oh, it's amazing. It's like, yeah, I just, it's the best. I had a, a little bout of time where I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm using Buffer. Yeah, it's probably not that big of a deal. It's not going to really do anything. And then I forget where it was. I think it was at um, Lindsay's church. They're just like, just do it. Just put it on there. And I was like, all right, I'll do it tonight. I set my buffer up. I remember. It was at my house, I think. Was it here? Oh, yeah. It was here. It was here. It was here. Yeah. Okay, so I finally set it up. Because I was like, I think I was talking about what yes. it did for me when I was suddenly like, I really want to work my business. And I, we got to a period at my work where we weren't allowed to have phones out on our desk at all. I had to keep it in a drawer. And I was like, shoot, there goes my business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I, I, put, I set it up for the next day. And I think I work... Um, I work 9 to about 6.30 every day. So I set a post to go on at noon. When I went on my lunch break at 1, I had two messages in my inbox. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like this whole like, time, you weren't doing anything. And really yeah. all these people. So just like posting on social media. Yeah, so you, you pre-make the post. So you okay. just whatever you want. <laughs> then you pick the date that you want to post. You pick the time that you want to post. And then you put it for tomorrow at noon. While you're at work or doing whatever, tomorrow at noon, it's going to but, you know, go on your wall. And so yeah. you're basically working two jobs. You're working yeah. your Facebook business and you're working your business. And I literally, business. I would spend 15, 20 minutes max writing all of my posts for the next day. You can do every night. time. Yeah. I would right? do, still 10. How about how many posts do you make? Um, now I do less. I used to, well, I think I did like none today. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was really bad today. Mm -hmm. But um, I do less now because Facebook has changed, but I used to do seven a day. I do about six. Mm -hmm. six. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. The three three rule doesn't exactly apply as well anymore. I would say the three three rule applies perfectly on Instagram. On Facebook, you have to do it a little bit less. So Facebook changes their algorithms, which is how they choose what populates in your newsfeed. Because like, if you go to someone's page that you don't see very often in your newsfeed, they've still been posting. Facebook just hasn't been showing it to you. Yeah. And Facebook decides who you interact with the most. They think that those are the people that you want to see their stuff. Uh -huh. And there's all these different, it's called an algorithm, which is just a formula that they use to determine what they're going to stick in front of you on your feed. And they've changed it recently, which has really impacted our business um, a lot, actually, for the negative. <laughs> and so what we're, Unless you do we're, aware of, we're aware of it, and we know ways to get around it and how to make it better, but we're having to work our business a little differently than in the past. Mm -hmm. So before, if you posted about once an hour, you weren't competing with yourself on Facebook. Now, if you post more than about once every two to three hours, very. your your post isn't going to show because it you already said something recently enough that it's, Facebook is like you just talked. No one wants to hear what you have to say, mm -hmm. and it like won't show it in people's newsfeed. And then the people you interact with the most are the people who you're going to do it. And when you come as distributor, you suddenly start interacting with other distributors, and then suddenly your whole newsfeed is like all distributors. You're like, where are my friends? <laughs> So you have to purposely go into your friends list, and I create specific friends lists for like my potentials. Do it, Amy. Yeah. You can separate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll learn. You'll learn a ton. Like I didn't know all this stuff before I was a network distributor. Like there was no need for me to separate my friends. The only time I've done Facebook is because of the business. I used to hate. Like, <laughs> so stupid, whatever. But I just was like, yeah. And it's amazing yeah. for my business. Oh yeah. Have you yeah. used Twitter? No. People do. No, I can see how Twitter, the Twitter social, like most, <laughs> the population of people on Twitter could really like target. That'd be a good target for this project. Yeah, I mean, I'm are, not into Twitter. I'm not into I Twitter. tried. But the people but who are into Twitter, they're, I don't want to they're say very into it. Are they? They're pretty self absorbed. Some of them feel better. People do Twitter. I've heard of it. I've heard of Twitter, Instagram. I hate Instagram. I, I love think, Instagram. I, yeah. Oh I my gosh, I should ever do it. I don't know if social media. Yeah. I get, yeah. <laughs> But like Amy, <laughs> she didn't yeah. either. But now she does. Um, so Amy, <laughs> this is Levi and Christy. Oh, hi. This is Amy. Uh, Amy's a Ruby. We're yes. sideline sisters, so we don't benefit from each other's business at all. Um, 
but Except we're both for an encouragement and inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But we're both underneath the same, like our leader is the same leader for both of us. So we're both mm-hmm. No, no, Lindsay. But I, I guess in an indirect way, Deanna. We both signed up with Deanna. Deanna put us both underneath Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Like I put you under Jamie. Layered leadership. So if I so, were you, you would be like, no, because you're not no. Lindsay. Well, okay. So Jamie has two other distributors. You'd be a sideline, your sideline sisters with Jamie's other two distributors. Yeah, um, if that makes sense. But it doesn't really matter. You don't. It doesn't. Like, no. Don't get into the, like the. No. So sometimes you don't know what questions are important and what are not, and you'll ask questions. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so much, in, so much information taken the important stuff only. Okay, we didn't even get into the core of what we're talking about. So we've been getting off topic a lot. So I'm going to go through what we're supposed to talk about for tonight, and I'll get started. Um, well, at least you didn't miss anything like yet much. Okay, how to respond to common concerns is what we're talking about today. So uh, one of the big ones that we get is, I don't have the money. So these are common concerns um, for distributor, by the way, not for the little customer, because I would address this slightly differently. We went over, I don't have the money, what you would say to a little customer earlier, is just for distributor. All of these are, not going into customers today. Um, so I, if someone says, Wow, I'm really interested in being a distributor, but I don't have the money. I would be like, girl, I totally understand. So one of the first things you would do is like affirm how someone feels. Um, don't be fake. People can see through your falseness. Like, be a good person and be real. But um, say, I totally understand. If you've been at, if you have your own story about how you don't have money, then like Amy has a great one actually. Yeah. Um, I didn't have the money to start. It took me like nine months. I had done a, a prior company. I was really skeptical. Didn't really want to get into it. But Deanna, you know, was persistent. And I had already kind of like wanted to do something. So I kept thinking, but I was like, you know what? It's not meant to be. I don't have the money. Forget it. But then I finally was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I used my birthday money. So I actually started this company on the day of my birthday with the birthday money that I got, like instantly. Like, you know, they gave me money. I was like, okay, I'm going online. And I'm going to start my business. Um, so I was like, Cross my fingers, like, please let this be, like, the gift of all time that, you know, <laughs> I'm giving myself that it's going to generate all this income, which, you know, it ended up being that I've been in, um, I think, maybe, like, a month less or a month more than you have. When did you enroll? Um, May 2014. Okay, I did March 2014. Yeah, so we're, like, neck and neck. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm at Ruby right now, and you're at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're taking it from the kitchen. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'll say, <laughs> when they announced the double line, I'm going to say, I'm like, shoot, because I should have gone that much. I really should have. I'm so close to yeah. Diamond. I'm stupid close to Diamond. I'm really mad I didn't work harder last month, because I literally, like, first week of the month, worked really hard. Like, last week of the month, worked really hard. There's like two and a half week period that I totally slacked off in the middle. And I do this to myself. Like every time they announce a new diamond bonus, I like self sabotage myself. You do the same thing, right? I yeah. Exactly. I think thing. it's like a fear of failure. Then I'm just like, well, if I don't try, then I can't say I couldn't do it. Exactly. And I'm like, how stupid is this? It's like the stupidest thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah, it is $5,000. And they announced today that yeah, it's just rain. Yeah. We have skylights that makes the rain really loud. I thought it was a dog. Like, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was like the dog scratching house on the wood. Really intense scratching party. Um, so what were we just saying? Like, oh, but the uh, and also today, now it's five thousand dollars again if you go to double diamond. So the difference between diamond and double diamond is one ruby, I think, right? Yes. It I'm pretty two. sure it's it might be two rubies. Maybe two rubies. I've built a ruby in a month before. Like it was nothing. I've totally done it before. Like, which is what I needed to do this past month and didn't do. So <laughs> I need to do it twice. I need to just do it twice this month. If I literally work my business the way I should be, especially doing it full time, it should be like a no brainer. So I went, I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys a little personal information. I see a therapist like every few weeks and I went to her today and like all we talked about today was my business. I'm like, please help me to not give up on myself. <laughs> like, what was he? A therapist? Oh, a therapist. I yeah. didn't know I thought of the name. I'm like, no, I thought it was like, no, but I was like, you went through like, like all these fast. things. You went through all these things. I'm like, she's like, you need to. So I had homework to do for my last meeting, which was to come with my short term goals, my long term goals. So we went today, and she's like, okay, hey, and I would like tell her stuff, and she's like, I want to do it from that. I'm like, to not do it. <laughs> I know. I know. I just like, okay. So we never. We it's up it's stuff. hard. It is hard to. You are your worst enemy. It's your mind. It's your mind. A hundred percent. It's a thousand percent true. Yeah, so st- I tell people all the time, like, I tell my team, if you can stay positive and be consistent, you will be successful. 
and like, don't hold yourself accountable. Yes. That's well, if you're consistent, then you're holding yourself accountable. It's mm -hmm. the same thing. So if you can get the consistency and the positivity down, like you're solid, you're, you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do. Those are the hard parts, which is kind of crazy. Like that's it. It's just, it's totally different when you work for yourself yeah. and, and there is going to be some negativity. Like obviously people aren't all going to jump for this and do it immediately. Yeah. You just have to keep going. Mm -hmm. If you can stay consistent and positive, like you literally like you will rock this. <laughs> that's it. Um, so start at money complaints. Is what you're at. Yep. Okay. So girl, I totally understand. I'm sorry you're going through this. Honestly, I don't know many people that join this business because they have extra money. It's not what happens. People aren't like, wow, I have extra money to spend. Let me go start a new business. You guys are rich, right? You don't have like no money. Okay. Neither are we. No, we're not. Yeah, it's part of why we all want to do this because we want more money. So people don't join because they're like, oh, well, I have all this extra money to throw away. It's I'm joining because I need more money. So um, a lot of good distributors on our team that are now successful started by putting this money on their credit cards, selling things on Craigslist, babysitting, cleaning houses, borrowing the money selling your blood. You can be creative, whatever you have that you can do. How long is it going to take you? Don't go to Starbucks. Don't go out to eat. How long will it take you to get the money? Never what do you need to do? Like so yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is the part that... Yeah. No, people can do it, but people, people will like tell you no. I think just tell like mental block. Yeah. Yeah. Tell like, people, they're like, the $99, like, well, how am I supposed to do well, that? Honestly, that's what I didn't drink. I'm like, $99, it's like $2 and some gas for the month. But yeah. Yeah. if they said you need $100 or we're going to take your baby, you'd be like, oh, we got it right here. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, so, yeah. So you have to decide how much this is important to you. And that's really what you have to tell people. Like, because you, we all know that you can come up with hundred dollars. You just have to decide: is it important to you to make a difference or not? Here's some options and ways to go do it. But honestly, if you're gonna try to beg people to be on your team, they're not gonna work hard enough. You need people who are self motivated. That's why I was like, I'm not trying to pressure you. And I'm not trying to tell you to do it now. Like, you need to do it when you're ready. <laughs> but because you have to be ready. Um, okay. Another big thing that people say is, I don't know many people. Um, I don't have a network. I live in a small town. Those are all different things people will say. Um, that's and the answer is that's perfectly okay. There's billions of people in the world that want our product and also wish they knew of a flexible part-time job to bring an extra income into their house. Their odds are actually in your favor because there's only 150,000 distributors in this, which is really low for network marketing yeah. um, and where we are. So. And then I say, I use Facebook and Instagram to meet new people all over the world, and I'll teach you how to do exactly what I do. And also, then, there was something that really stuck out to me um, that I heard, and it's like, if you opened up your own subway chain. That's that the whole, next thing I'm going to say. There was two options. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> intro, intro our next option. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love that. Cause that would really well, because we've been doing this for a while, so we both have some of the same solutions and yeah. things that we've heard. Because you both have the same things <laughs> but anyway, so I heard like an analogy. Um, if you were open, if you were to open up a pub, uh, not pubs, a um, yeah, like a subway. subway. A subway. <laughs> um, if you were to open up a subway, would you expect your mom, your grandma, and your brother and sister to come into the subway every single day to support your business, business going? No, you'd probably advertise or ask other people to you know come in and buy a sub. You can't expect your mother to buy and eat a sub every single day. Or, you know, mom, eat a sub again today, I'm gonna to crash. You gotta go out and expand your horizons. It's the same thing with this. So, yeah. Right. yeah. No, it's the same thing that I'm gonna to say too. So, you can you can start out and say that your goal is to sell this to friends and family, and you can make a small amount of money doing that. But if you're actually trying to sustain this and actually make a decent living at this in any way, shape, or form, your network, I don't care who you are, basically 99% of America and everyone in the world does not have a network that's gonna support that. You just don't. So we're all in the same boat. Everyone has to expand their network. Same thing as if you're going to start up a restaurant um, or your own business of any other kind. You're not going to expect those people to be there. You're going to find new people. Um, and there's a couple different ways to do that and to grow your network. And that's really what we're all here doing is growing our network. And we can definitely teach you how to do it. And since there's multiple ways to do it, you can figure out the way that works best for you. Because some people don't do this with social media, and they're also successful. You can be successful and not do social media. We had a whole team training on non-social media ways to work your business um, several weeks ago. I think we need to do that again. Um, next thing, not good at sales. Okay, so that's like perfect. 
no one, I don't want anyone who thinks they're good at sales probably joining my team because they're probably going to be a pushy salesperson. If you think you're good at sales, like this isn't, we're not in the business of selling, we're in the business of sharing. So I don't really want that mentality on my team. Um, I don't like pushy salespeople. I don't think about it as selling to people at all. I think about it as sharing solutions. So I have health solutions. I have weight loss solutions. I have solutions for people who are broke. I have solutions for all those problems. It's not, it's not a matter of selling. Now, if I don't talk about my solutions, no one will know I have them. So that's the difference, is you still have to share your solution. It's also like going to a new restaurant. If you loved a new restaurant, wouldn't you tell it, like you went to a new restaurant downtown, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the best restaurant ever. You would go tell everyone about it. You would. What's the difference? There's no difference. It's the same exact thing, except that if all your friends go eat at that restaurant, you're not going to make any commission off of it. And if it works, you are. It's like that pink drink Starbucks thing. Everyone's uh, showing the pink drink yeah. and you're not getting paid for that. You know? it's like, and everyone Starbucks. who takes a picture of their pink drink is literally advertising for Starbucks for nothing. Yeah. 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 For free. Yeah. So it works out great for Starbucks. Yeah. And that's why um, with network marketing, they don't have any commercials or anything like that because all of the money comes back to the distributors. They don't pay for marketing because that's our job to find a way to market. Um, I'm not sure I'll be good and I'm nervous. Okay, so that's so normal. And I feel like everyone can say this exact same thing because I think we were all there. Like everyone is nervous about doing this when they first start. I already did a multi-level thing with candles and I was horrible and didn't make any money. You lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, I just say that's so normal. I was scared and it took months before I did this. And you can adjust that however you want, but literally I think that same statement is true for basically everyone who joins. So, um, Basically, we all are. I'll be here for you 100%, and so is our team. You can do this, and I wouldn't offer you the opportunity if I really thought you were going to fail at this. I didn't believe you, which is true. I like that. Thank you. Um, I don't have any time. Nobody joins this because they have extra time. You're already on Facebook. Why not get paid for posting? You can get up an extra 20 minutes earlier. You can stay up an extra 30 minutes later. Realistically, Think about how much time you can get. Like, what realistically can you squeeze out? Okay, great. We'll just start there. We'll start with what you can do. It's a start. The goal is to free up your schedule and life with this anyway. The goal isn't to, like, just pour everything into this and on top of everything else that you have. If you're working two jobs, well, the goal would be to replace one of your jobs and have this that you can do, which is flexible. Um, <clears throat> there are tricks to packing in a lot of effort in a short amount of time if you're up for it. So it's one of those things, like, it really is up to the person they have to be willing to do something extra, willing to fit it into their schedule. Um, and I had something else I didn't write down, but it was the, I sent you two different things about it. And so basically, um, whatever people's excuses are, is probably the same list of what their reasons are that they should be in the business, generally. Like, I don't have enough friends. Um, okay, Amy and I didn't know each other. Now we're friends. At all. Yeah, and now we're friends. So there's like a lot of people that you'll become friends with because of this business. The more you do it and the more you like come to meetings and stuff like that, that you'll get to know more people. And then before you know it, like, like Ashley Gibbs, I borrowed one of her hair flowers when I needed it the other day. Like <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. That's true friendship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So I just like to like be real with people. Like tell them like whatever. Okay. So if that's the reason that you are saying no to this, that's literally the exact reason yeah. you should be doing this. Like that's what this is about. Yeah. And so the, the answer would be, well, yeah, that's exactly why you need something in your life because that sounds horrible. Yeah. And this can be way better because it's flexible. You can do it when you can, you can fit it in your schedule. However, that works in between classes, you know, whatever works for you versus a job where you have to show up at a certain time and be there. Um, yeah, so you get more time, more money, more friends. It's basically like the root of every excuse that we get. And that's what we say to them. I had a distributor that um, she was like, well, I only have 10 minutes a day that I could um, give to the business. And it might not even be every day. And I'm like, okay, well, that's, if that's, that's a start. Have, that's what you can start with. Well, once you get going, you start to enjoy making the post or like, oh, that'd be an awesome post. And so you start, you know, making that post or, oh, there's a perfect picture opportunity right now for me to make a, a post for Facebook and take a picture. And you'll start doing more and more time and then pretty soon you've done a whole power hour of it works when you only had 10 minutes to do it. 
So you'll, you'll start. Because you don't realize how much time you're wasting doing other things. Yeah. yeah. You don't realize how much time you're already on Facebook wasting time. If it's just focused Facebook time, like, so some of the things you have to do to show up in other people's news feeds is comment on their pictures. It's one of the biggest things that will make an impact. You're probably going to comment on someone's picture anyway when you're on there. Now it's just a little bit more focused when you're like, oh, that person I haven't talked to in a while. I'm going to go check out their page and comment on their last post. Something genuine. Like, don't be, I just, I don't, I hate when people are like, don't, don't take what I'm saying and like, just be a jerk about it. Like, you have to still be a good person. But, yeah, absolutely. yeah. But it's, it's a little bit, it's like focused time on things versus yeah. like just wasting time on things. So I guarantee you, you haven't like, seeing someone on your Facebook for a while and you like a comment, they are snooping your page as soon as they see that notification. So what I always do is I get my set, my um, wall like prepped. And so I'll put a couple things, I'll space it out, make it look like really approachable. So I might put like a, a quote, a nice quote, then like an it works post and maybe like, um, you have to space it out with hours. So this is like